Okay, in this video, I'm going to solve another particle in a box solution for our particle in a box problem for an infinite potential well. This leads directly on from my other two videos. My first in depth video was a well centered at the origin going from negative to positive a. Then I did a well going from 0 to 2a, and now I'm doing this well here. So I'm going to do this very quickly because, to be honest, it's very similar to the other videos. Okay, so if you don't understand what I'm doing, well, then look at the videos where I did it in depth. So look, we can say straight out, we know the solution to the time-independent Schrodinger equation in this case, and that we know that psi of x is equal to a times the cosine of alpha x plus b times the sine of alpha x. <clears throat> Alright, so let's apply our boundary conditions. We'll say psi of 0. We find that, of course, the sine solutions die, and we find that that's equal to a, because the cosine of naught is naught. We also know that the particle cannot exist at a, so we call that that must be equal to 0. So as a result, psi is equal to b times the sine of alpha x. Next, apply psi of 6a. Now, if you apply that, we'll find that b times the sine of 6 uh, alpha a is equal to 0 for the same reason. That means that 6 alpha a is equal to n pi, because pi is equal to 0 at integer values of, of, of um, sorry, excuse me, f, or sine is equal to 0 at integer, integer values of pi. Therefore, we get that alpha is equal to n pi over 6a. Therefore, psi is equal to b times the sine of n pi x over 6a. And finally, that means when you plug, we know that alpha is equal to root 2me over h bar squared, and we get our energy value is equal to n squared pi squared h bar squared over 72m a squared. What conclusions can we draw to this? Well, first of all, when you increase the width of the well, you decrease the energy of the, of the wave function inside the well, because we have a factor of 72 below the line here, where the last time we had a factor of 8. All right, so that's all I've got to say about that. I'll do symmetry arguments when, uh, in, in another video. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.